are using a state-of-the-art equipment that could someday lead to a breakthrough for elderly patients and athletes with knee problems. Here's Roxanne Lerma with the story. It looks like a scene straight out of Hollywood. It's like playing with really expensive toys. But this isn't a movie production. Matthew Harlan, a senior mechanical engineering student, says they're using the equipment to find revolutionary new ways to make knee replacement surgeries less invasive. The setup gives them a dynamic simulation of knee joint movements. Not everybody has a chance to interact with such incredible technology this early in their career, and it's a fantastic opportunity for me. Dr. Dumitru Karuntu, the director of the biomechanics laboratory, acquired the high-tech gear through a $281,000 grant awarded to him by the National Science Foundation. The motion analysis system consists of 10 cameras and plates that allow students to measure the internal force exerted on the knee. A series of markers are placed over the body. The cameras then record the motion and project an inside look at the knee. They measure the uh, muscle, uh, muscular activity. So you can know exactly which one of the muscles work and which one uh, do not. The purpose of this research uh, is to improve total knee replacements, is to improve rehabilitation exercises. Current technology on total knee replacements has limitations. The owner of an artificial knee has reduced mobility. Harlan says if engineers are going to develop a better type of knee implant, you really need to know what's happening inside the body. That's kind of difficult to do just by looking at somebody, and it's really hard to do because people don't want you to cut them open. But if you put the markers on, you could potentially just have somebody walk across a room and you would be able to identify not only what is wrong with them, but maybe better ways to fix it without actually having to go into a surgery immediately. The scientific equipment can also help Dr. Caruntu and his students study obesity and how it affects the joints. Just here in the lab, just put a little bit like the camera system on them and analyze their biomechanics. And just by observing it, you can see if, oh, maybe they, like, their PCL or their ACL is like deficient and save them from going through x-rays or things like that. Someday the students hope to use the technology as a preventative measure, a type of warning system for patients at risk of stroke or heart attack. Reporting for UTPA and New Center 23, I'm Roxanne Lerma. UTPA has the only biomechanics lab south of San Antonio. It was a weekend of